Hi, uh, my name is Abhijit Chakankar and I'm an engineer at Cohesity. And today I'm going to talk about the Cohesity data platform, in particular, uh, the SQL integration that we have. So as you know, Cohesity is a distributed, hyper-converged secondary storage platform for all your secondary workloads. Uh, it is driven by uh, the SnapTree technology, which enables backups that are uh, fully hydrated, yet space efficient. Uh, the platform, the data platform also, provide, uh, also provides global deduplication, uh, compression, and encryption for all your data. Cohesity also provides uh, data protection capabilities, uh, which include backing up your VM workloads, physical servers, and database, database protection such as uh, Microsoft SQL Server database. And today we are going to uh, talk about the SQL uh, protection uh, in, in more detail. So SQL backups come in two different flavors. Uh, the first one is SQL fulls, and the second one is uh, SQL log backups. SQL full backups, they make use of the VSS API, and uh, they trigger a VSS snapshot using the VSS API. Once that snapshot is taken, we use the change block tracking mechanism, or CBT, to incrementally back up uh, the, the snapshot. And so why do we do that? Because it keeps the backups fully hydrated on Cohesity, and it also eliminates the need for doing SQL differential backups. Now, SQL log backups are needed to back up transaction logs. And in this case, we use the VDI interface to, uh, to, to back up the transaction logs. And uh, these uh, SQL log backups can be used for doing point-in-time restores. Now we're going to talk about uh, SQL backups in a virtualized environment. So our SQL backups in virtualized environments are agentless. And we use uh, a helper app. We actually dynamically load and unload a helper app to orchestrate the backup flow. So suppose that uh, you have a SQL Server host uh, right here. Uh, which, which is running SQL database, uh, which we, you want to protect. Uh, you would also be running a VSS service and a VDI service, which would be interacting with your SQL. And now we want to protect the SQL server. So the first step uh, in doing so would be you need to register the SQL server. So this involves specifying credentials, which might be used to, in, to unload and load our helper app on the SQL Server host. So once we have the right credentials, we, sh we, will, uh, we will load the Cohesity helper app, which will then interact with the VSS service the VDI service, and with the SQL Server directly to fetch metadata, and I'm going to talk about that. Now, in order to load and unload the SQL Server and to perform some VM-specific operations, we make use of VADP interface that's provided by the VMware. And once the helper app is up and running on the SQL Server, we would also interact with that. So the helper app acts as a dump uh, agent, and all the orchestration is being driven by the Cohesity cluster. So let's go through what are the steps that are involved in a full backup. So for a SQL full, the steps that we would take are, of course, we would first load the helper app. Once the app is up and running, we would take a VSS snap snapshot 
And this involves interfacing with the VSS service that's already running on the Windows host. Once the VSS snapshot is taken, we will trigger a VM snapshot. This is the incremental snapshot, and VMware can now give us the changed blocks, which we would incrementally backup. So the backup is fully hydrated on Chloricity, and yet it is space efficient. Once the VM snapshot is taken, we would actually back it up, as I just described. Once the snapshot is backed up, we would actually fetch the metadata that's associated with the VSS snapshot. This metadata includes things like uh, LSN or log sequence numbers, globally unique IDs associated with the database, and so on. And this information would later be used to perform a VSS restore. Once the metadata is uh, saved on Cohesity, we would then go ahead and release the VSS and VM snapshots. And in the end, we would unload the agent. And that's your SQL full backup. The SQL log backup flow is fairly similar to that of full. Uh, as before, first we load the helper app. In this case, we interface with the VDI to perform the transaction log backup. Once the transaction logs are backed up, we fetch the metadata and save it on Cohesity. And this metadata includes uh, log sequence numbers, GUIDs, and so on and so forth. Once the metadata is saved, we would unload the agent. And that's it. Once the SQL fulls and log backups uh, are on Cohesity platform, they enjoy the benefits of the platform. For example, the full backups are fully hydrated, the data is globally deduped, compressed, and encrypted. That, together with the metadata that we have saved, allows us to support interesting restore scenarios like point-in-time database restores, restoring the full VM, and uh, also various test and dev workflows. But that would be a topic of a different video.